Hi everybody, Kira here, Island Socialist on Instagram and my blog is islandsocialist.com. Welcome to another video. This video is super, super excited. I know I say that every time, but this time it's really, really exciting because Love Notions is having a massive 50% off sale on everything on their website except for the recently released La Bella Donna. This sale is only 48 hours we're talking 31st of july to august the 1st you have two days to go and grab everything you want on the love notions website for 50 percent off of course i would love for you to use my link it is in my description box down below and if you're looking for some inspiration and you want to know which patterns to grab between today and tomorrow i am going to be showing you some of my favorites so let's get the ball rolling today with the fabulous sibyl illusion skirt collection y'all this is one pattern with seven different skirt styles yep you heard correctly seven I don't think I've ever come across a pattern with that many options and this is a knit skirt so seven easy peasy skirt styles this pattern comes in sizes extra small to 4x and that takes you from a waist of 26 and a half to 41 and a half inches and a hip of 35 and a half to 51 and a half inches for reference as usual I cut size large and I made the swing skirt version so the other styles are pencil a-line gourd this is a lot to remember pencil and I go there's swing that is four asymmetrical wrap I love the asymmetrical wrap version then there is a drop yoked version and then another of my favorites is the box pleated version I have a woven pattern for box pleated skirts but I do not have a knit and I'm so happy I finally have one because this is gonna be super easy to whip up but it's gonna look like it took a lot of time and effort and for all of these styles you have optional pockets and you can choose between the knee length and the middle length my length is actually in between the knee length and the middle length because i didn't want it to be above my knees but i didn't want it to be on my calf either i wanted it to hit me like just on my knee or just slightly below my knee and with all these styles you have the length and short and length anyway so it's really easy to adjust for the waistband which i absolutely love you have a measurement chart so you actually draw out your waistband or just cut it straight on the fabric based on the measurements you do not have an actual pattern piece so before being folded and attached this waistband is seven inches so you end up with about a three inch waistband absolutely adore this wide waistband it hugs the waist and it just feels really really comfortable i did not have to use any elastic because the fabric that i chose is a scuba crepe and because of the scuba content it really just holds up and stays there you don't need to do any pulling or tugging so the swing version that i made is kind of similar to a half circle skirt and i'm gonna cut now to the alterations i made so this is what the pattern piece looks like for the swing sibyl skirt this line here is the knee length line and then this line here is the middle length line now i originally cut the middle length because i was going for a middle length but I had a change of heart but I still don't want it to be as short as knee length because when I held this up in front of me it looks as though the knee length would be a little above my knee so I'm actually shortening from the middle length up so I shortened four inches I'm not even bothering with the length and unshorten line so I'm shortening four inches up from the middle length and then I will go ahead and cut the skirt and try it on and decide if I need to shorten it any more than that. Now one of the concerns I had is the fact that this is not your typical half circle skirt. So the side is a little bit shorter than the center and I guess that is because you don't want the back to look short when it goes over your bum. So I like that for the back, but I'm not sure how I feel about that for the front. 
and that is actually the reason why I shortened from the midi length up because I measured and I noticed that for the midi length it's not as steep a slope so I think the difference is something like almost two inches I think the side seam is almost two inches shorter than the center for the knee length but for the midi it's only one and some I think that's what I remember <laughs> So that's also why I chose to shorten from the midi length up because I want to keep the angle of the midi length line because then it's not that different because I'm a bit worried that from the side it can look like if I have an uneven circle skirt. Not really sure I'm a fan of that look. <laughs> so I'm going to cut on my new line. And go ahead and cut out my skirts and sew it up and then right before hemming if i do decide to hem because it is scuba so i don't necessarily have to hem if i do decide to hem then i will decide if this length is okay and also how i feel about the hem being longer at the center than at the sides so i ran a one inch stitching guide with a very bright color thread so it will be easy to remove and then I'm just pressing this with some water so it gets a good steam and then I'll decide if I'm gonna hand base it as well because I usually hand base all of my knit hems. I'm gonna test a little bit and see how it works with the twin needle. Hopefully I do not have to hand base and I can go ahead and just stitch it. I'll keep you guys updated. Y'all look how well this fabric behaved with my twin needle. Oh my goodness, this is the most perfect twin needle I've had in a little while. So now I just need to remove my guidance stitch. I did not even need to hand base this. And I'm going to give it one final press and we're good to go. So I actually omitted the optional pockets. I cannot believe I'm saying this because I literally love pockets in everything. But for this, I just really wanted a sleek silhouette with no bulk and remember i said that i used a scuba crepe i mean i could have avoided the bulk by using a lighter weight pocket piece but i just decided to omit them and i love the way the skirt turned out i used a snake print fabric oh i have my skirt right here actually <laughs> so i used this snake print scuba crepe fabric I cannot get over this wide waistband I just absolutely love it and I did a twin needle hem this is actually the wrong side of the fabric so when I twirl you do get a little bit of a glimpse of the underside but that really doesn't bother me I don't think anybody will be looking up under my skirt hopefully <laughs> so yeah I absolutely love this fabric and I love this skirt when I showed my mom this fabric, she hates reptiles and amphibians <laughs> and anything creepy crawly. She completely cringed at this fabric. But then when she saw it made up in the skirt, she absolutely loved the skirt. So I think that says something about this pattern. Now, when I read the measurement chart for the waistband, I was a little bit skeptical because for a 34 inch waist with the size large, the waistband measurement is 28 inches. And I was in my mind, I was like, there's no way I can pull that 28 inch waist number one over my hips. <laughs> and then I was thinking it would feel really tight and uncomfortable on my waist. But I am so happy that I stuck with that 28 inch measurement. It is just the right amount of snug and it's not tight at all. It is just snug enough to hold up on its own without elastic and you can add elastic if you want to there are instructions and everything for if you want to add elastic and then there's also an optional control panel that you can add into the waistband instead of just folding it regularly for the control panel you probably want to use something with a very stiff stretch something like power mesh and that would really <laughs> it would really suck in your tummy but because my fabric had the scuba content i didn't feel like if i needed that so I struggled to decide between the swing and box pleated version which means now that I've completed the swing I definitely want to make the box pleated version next and the asymmetrical wrap really caught my eye as well also who could resist a basic knit pencil skirt I definitely could not therefore 
my little bit of scrap that was left over from my fabric i was up a cute little mini pencil skirt as well i had a little bit of scrap left so i printed the pencil skirt version but i had to hack off five inches because that's the only length i could get hopefully by the time the waistband adds on it would not be inappropriate we'll have to wait and see it may end up being a husband only type of skirt so i bought two yards of this fabric and i had just enough left to make a mini skirt i could not get any length pencil skirts i actually had to hack off five inches i know it sounds like a lot but it's actually not inappropriate i was really really scared i would not be able to wear <laughs> these skirts out in public but for once my short people problems came in handy and it fits just right and it's not inappropriate at all and that is all thanks to this three inch waistband as well so i'm going to insert photos of both of my skirts <laughs> So that is my overview of the Sybil Illusion skirt collection. I really hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. This is unlike any other skirt pattern I have ever seen personally. Seven styles in one and two different lengths with optional pockets and optional control panel. I don't know how I've slept on this pattern for so long. And the good news is now you have the chance to pick up this pattern for half of the original price. This type of sale is extremely <laughs> rare. So if there's anything you've been eyeing up on the Love Notions website, highly, highly recommend you take this opportunity to go and grab your patterns for 50% off. This sale is actually a celebration sale because the team over at Love Notions just moved in to their new space. They just moved in to the Love Notions workshop. If there is one time I'm super jealous that I do not live in the US, it is no because when all this corona stuff is over and the workshop is open i can just imagine being there so in my life away it is such a beautiful space and they did such a wonderful job furnishing if you do live in the states make sure you sign up for the email list so that you can get updates when the workshop is fully open and functional i will leave the link below so you can sign up for that email list so that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed joining me today. Hopefully I introduced you to a new pattern that I know you're going to love. If you want to purchase this pattern or any other Love Notions patterns, all of my links will be in the description box below. Of course, there are affiliate links, so I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you. And I would really, really appreciate it. Coming up tomorrow, I have a fabulous lyric dress to share with you guys. I had a vision for this for a while now and when I went to get my fabric I almost had a minor heart attack because there was not much on the bowls left and I hunted the other branches to that fabric store and they did not have it so then I had to rush to go back to that fabric store and I decided I would just take whatever they had left on the bowls and make it work it is another animal print but not snake this time and i'm also making a diy belt to go with it should also mention here that tomorrow is my wedding anniversary it's our fifth wedding anniversary so my lyric dress is going to be my anniversary dress so make sure you come back here tomorrow to see my new lyric dress also, a ton of the other ambassadors have amazing content out right now as well to promote the sale. So I'm going to have a link to either a list or links to the other ambassadors content down below so you can go and see what they made as well. Just in case you need some inspiration or some help choosing what to pick in the sale. I am going to stop rambling now. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to wrap this up. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. And I will catch you guys in my next video. See you tomorrow. Bye.